Hello everyone. Do you know those situations where you've just played a line on your favorite MIDI instrument, for example your keyboard, and then you find like this line is actually a really sweet melody and you want to capture this, but for some reason you are unable to actually play it in again because either your timing isn't right or you just can't remember the melody and you just know that you actually had it, but now you've lost it and you can't remember. Well, there is a solution to the problem within Reaper, which is called retrospective recording, and we're going to take a look at that right now. So all you need for retrospective recording is one or more armed tracks where you want to play your instrument on. And I would just do that and just play a sweet little line, which is actually not that hard to play, but just for demonstration and purposes, it works for everything that you send through MIDI instrument. It captures all the MIDI information that you're playing, even if you're not recording, which is actually really nice. Now let's play something here. Great, so I like that. Let's now say that this is a line that I cannot remember right now, but I think it was really nice and I want to capture exactly that performance. But I unfortunately didn't hit record before actually playing it. So I think now I'd have to record everything again and then I don't get it right and everything. So here's what we could do in this case. Because Reaper, since version 6.7 something, I'm not entirely sure, but before doing that, you needed a Repack script in order to do retrospective recording. Now Reaper does this on its own and you can at any point go into the retrospective recording actions and just get your performance as you were playing it without actually recording it. So this is pretty, pretty nice. But as far as I know, it only works for MIDI performances. So no audio, unfortunately, but it works for MIDI. Now let's just say that this performance was pretty nice and you want to get it back via retrospective recording. Now. Let's go into the actions list with F4 actions and type in retro. R -E -T -R -O. Now let's press down arrow list one list. and let's see the actions that I just found. Description. MIDI. Clear retroactive MIDI history 105. So this will clear the retroactive MIDI history and sorry for calling it retrospective. It's <laughs> retroactive in Reaper. So this will clear the history. Hitting that will delete everything that we've performed so far and all the other actions won't be able to bring it back into a project. Description. MIDI. Insert all available retroactively recorded MIDI for armed and selected tracks 205. So this will insert everything that it has recorded for all our armed and selected tracks. Please keep in mind that this will really insert everything that it has captured, probably since you opened the project or since you armed the track, because this might actually be quite a lot of stuff, depending on how long you were actually playing your instrument. Description. MIDI. Insert all available retroactively recorded MIDI for ARM tracks 305. So this is for all ARM tracks, no matter the selection, which is probably a lot more depending on your setup. So choose wisely between the armed and selected track options and the only armed and ignore selection options here. Description. MIDI. Insert recent retroactively recorded MIDI for armed and selected tracks 405. And then we've got the same actions, but not for all, but for recent. I think what Reaper does is if you don't play your instrument for a certain time, then it's going to move the recorded media into the all category. And if you hit the recent action, it will just play or insert the stuff that you've just played recently after a longer break, so to speak. And that's exactly what you want to do. I will now use this action and see what happens. Now, let's just say we press that press enter on that Unsafe. and now we get a media item one retroactively recorded midi bar one beat one zero percent isn't this awesome let's play it so this is my performance that i just played without hitting record and i can just get this in now I could go into the media editor by pressing Control alt e and all the stuff that I've already described in one of my other videos and edit the MIDI performance so that it sounds like I want it to sound without having to record it exactly again. But 
keep in mind that this also has some downsides. Obviously, the MIDI that you record will most likely not stick to the metronome unless you had the metronome running while recording it or while playing it into your DAW without hitting record, right? So if you now turn on the metronome, you'd probably be off the metronome completely because you didn't play to the metronome. So you'd now have to fit it to the beat if you wanted to be on grid. But apart from that, it's really neat to just be able to play something on your keyboard. Just fire up a new sample library that you just received or just downloaded, purchased, whatever. Fire it up, try to be a little bit creative and inspiring, load up patches, play through them, and then as soon as you think like, yeah, this is a performance that I really want to keep because it really sounds nice and, and, and I like this line or like this melody, then you can just hit retroactive recording and you get the performance back and you can just save it for future reference uh, or just start working on a piece, really. So this is really, really flexible, really interesting. And I hope this is useful to you. If you find this video useful and helpful, then please like the video, subscribe to the channel, because next Monday there will be the next video on any kinds of musical or Reaper related topic. And make sure to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Until next week, bye-bye.